one of the most important technologies that we've introduced over the last three years is LED lighting. Within Sainsbury's we have an overarching sustainability plan called our 20 by 20 plan where we have 20 stretching objectives to achieve by 2020. One of them is to absolutely reduce our carbon by 30% against where we were in 2005. We created a number of tools and projects and programmes with new technologies that we deploy across the Sainsbury's estate to help us get there. We've done about 200 stores so far, so we've done all the new program stores, so anything we've done in terms of a new store and extension we've done this year has received LED, and then the rest have been retrofits where we've rolled them back into existing stores. When we work with manufacturers, we don't just take the first product that comes into, uh, you know, that I look at in a catalogue. We work specifically hard with manufacturers to come up with the ideal solution for each area within the estate. So we take a whole view of what the market and the industry is coming up with in terms of technology advances, work with them and apply it. Wolverhampton is a prime example of bringing all those technologies that we've been trialling over a number of years into one place and it's been one hell of a success. Sainsbury's generally try and achieve four key objectives. One, which is energy savings. Two, which is look and feel. Three, is sustainability. And four, is reliability. So against all those parameters, G's products were specified as being successful in that area. We've used a uh, linear LED fitting in the car parks, which provides a very broad distribution. Over the cash points, we've used a, a special Realta 13 watt LED. And on the external parts of the building, we've used the uh, Realta emergency LED fitting over the emergency exits. We supplied our sky tile into the offices. They're about 60% energy saving. We supplied baton fittings into the back of house. They're a good 25 to 30% energy saving, good quality product. Basically we had to come up with something that was going to be energy efficient and replicate what the light levels that they previously had using a twin 49 watt fluorescent solution. So we had to work closely with the spacings and the beam angle from the LED to achieve a similar output and effect we were getting with the fluorescent. We've supplied the halo prism into Sainsbury's which is a high level luminaire. Because of the varying outputs that we have within the same product We've been able to utilise it at different levels for the main atrium. Sainsbury's approached us with a bit of a challenge really. They wanted to go LED and enjoy all the energy savings that come with that, but they're struggling to find a solution which didn't create a lot of glare on the windows for the kiosk. And so we developed a solution with them to tackle that issue and also introduced them to the Mini 300 for the canopy, which is our ambient lighting for, for petrol filling stations. It's got built-in controls and has a master-slave arrangement, so when customers approach, the lighting level actually increases to kind of acknowledge them and acknowledge their, uh, their approach. We were called in to look at specific areas where the existing lighting stock was somewhat old, the lighting levels were somewhat challenging for operational staff. Through the installation uh, they appreciated the, the workmen that were working there and then eventually when they were finished they couldn't believe what they could see, it was so bright in there, it was cheery, it was like sunny every day so uh, the colleagues were very very happy with the installation and what they could see at the end of it. The new lighting system was installed as part of the fit out and we had the building, this part of the building handed over to us in April of last year and it's been really good for us because actually we've had no call outs, no replacements have been required at all since the uh, installation was handed over, which compared to the rest of the building where we've got traditional lighting systems, which we're doing regular replacements of fluorescence and, and call outs, has been a real boon to us. The Sainsbury's project uses a vast amount of our uh, capabilities. That would be anything from punching steel, folding steel, painting steel and assembly but on top of that we have our um, annual electronics unit with our own SMT machinery making our own bespoke LED boards uh, specifically for Sainsbury's project where the light output etc etc is a very tight specification. The main inspiration in the design was to get a viable retrofitable LED solution that would enable us to reuse the existing cans and thus reduce the installation costs and aid with the project's payback. This represents one of the largest LED rollouts in the country today. 
We were approached by Sainsbury's to develop a concept for the phone shop lighting, making the phone shops an integral part of the store. One of the challenges was to overcome the existing LED installation within the phone shop. Uh, that had been uh, illuminated using traditional downlighter products, which failed to recognise that basically the, the product is on the wall. The product as was would have been in shadow from the scalloping effect of those. So what we then addressed is to light the verticals using a particular form of linear LED. When it uh, is down to the consultation areas, a softer tone was then used and that produced a more relaxed atmosphere. This is our first major installation of our new Vivaldi technology. Uh, we have changed our entire approach to design and we've been working very, very closely with Sainsbury's over the last three years as a, a lead adopter of that technology. And the big difference between this and some of our earlier generation technologies is that we focused around bringing extra comfort, colour and contrast. So we not only look at the lighting inside the case, but we're very much looking at controlling the lighting in the environment of the case as well. Within this store we're using Blade and Blade is a project or a product that we started co-engineering with Sainsbury's around two, two and a half years ago. What Blade allows Sainsbury's to do is to increase the vertical illuminance on uh, the shelves, on the merchandise, so effectively making the merchandise the stars within the store. This year Sainsbury's have been included for the 15th year consecutively in the Dow Jones Sustainability Index and we actually came top of the, of the scores within the environmental classification category, which is quite a substantial achievement to, uh, to be made. Um, obviously we need to keep building on that and the way that we build on it is by working with manufacturers and suppliers to get the technology benefits, to get the energy efficiency benefits so that Sainsbury's can achieve their 20 by 20 vision and target.